week I'm doing a room tour. <laughs> yes, I am finally filming a room tour. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a room tour before I film for Halloween because I am going to be doing a decorate with me for Halloween and um, you guys said you wanted to see this. So I really wanted to film this not just because it's a room tour but I have so many antiques and I think this is a this might be like a different kind of room tour for you. I have so many different styles too. You'll notice I have my um, rock wall. <laughs> I say rock wall, like my my rock music wall with my records and everything. My room has a lot of antiques and a lot of Art Deco touches and things from like the 30s and 40s. And I just thought that you guys might want to see that. So why don't we get right into this? Okay, so over here when you first walk in, this here is my uh, my bedroom furniture. And I've had this forever, I haven't really switched this out. This mirror here I got, um, I got this after I painted the walls actually, and I think it's like really perfect because it matches completely. I got that at Home Goods, I think right before the quarantine. And then over here, this is just a jewelry rack that I have for my necklaces. This is for like my necklaces that aren't as nice for like Forever 21. And then I have um, a vintage Avon container with my hoop earrings in it. And then this glass container here that again is like from like a yard sale or from the Goodwill or something. I'm not quite sure where I got that. You move over to the center of my dresser. I have this antique mirror. I don't know if it was supposed to be a mirror or if it was supposed to be a tray, but I use it as a tray. And funny story, I got um, this decanter and these glasses for a gift, but I liked them so much that I decided to keep them. <laughs> so I have them, they have like little bees on them, and I keep this out mainly for like the summer and spring and everything. But then we go over here, and I have this beautiful fen piece. I got this, and I put it in this bowl here. The bowl isn't fen as far as I know, but the bowl that this pitcher is sitting in matches this dish here. They were like a set. But I thought that they all looked really good together, so I put the picture inside of that dish. And then this here, with the exception of the three shells in the top, are all the shells that I've collected over the years. And I just put them in this dish. I think it's really cute for the summer. So that's kind of just like my summer decor. I keep it light and airy. On to the next area. Okay, so over here is this beautiful vintage bar cart that I got. I don't really know when it's from, like what decade. But I got this for a birthday party that I was having and I really like this decor. And I got this at a, a local antique shop. So I have that and then I kind of stuck with the theme and I have a, this champagne glass that somebody made me for my 21st birthday. And then I have this pink ice bucket. It's super pretty. I absolutely love it. I have this, again, it's another one of those trays, but I put the Gatsby style champagne glasses on top over here i have a, this beautiful lamp um the lamp and the lampshade did not come together i got that lamp at an antique shop and the lampshade i got either i got two of them off of like marketplace on facebook for like 10 bucks or something so that goes together and then on the bottom i just have some pictures and i have my camera stuff and a candy dish and that's basically it. And then I do have like a little towel on the end. I believe it's Kate Spade, but it just goes with the theme. I think it looks so just gorgeous and so different to have in a bedroom. And I just, all my pieces are really, really nice. And most of them are antiques, except for the candy dish and the ice bucket to ice bucket. I got a clearance from Marshalls at like the end of a season. This is my bed over here, the bed frame itself, or like the headboard is from Pier 1. And then this is my summer bedding. It's... I don't know how to explain it. It's like a textured bedspread, but it's this nice, like, really light, kind of Tiffany blue, but it's very, like, pastel. Um, this pillow actually came from a different bedding set, but it looks really good on here. And I just really like, again, like, beachy, airy colors for the summer. So this here is my bed. Over here, I'm going to show you. I have my nightstand. I have some cute antiques over there, so let's get on to that. I have this antique tray over here. Again, another one. Not only is it oval, but it has cherubs on it, which I really, really like cherubs. They're my favorite. Over here, I have like my pillow spray, my room spray. I have some um, crystals and stones, my coaster chapstick. I have like a little turtle ring holder. And then a picture of my boyfriend and I.
right here I have this beautiful art deco vanity i believe it's from like the 30s or 40s it's authentic the people i got it from had the decals and the glass added on so that's not original i don't think at least the decals are original and i really do like them even though it doesn't match my other bedroom furniture i don't really i wanted to redo that but i don't think i can because it's so old and i just don't think i'd be able to get it. The color is right, and I just feel like it's it's just nice the way it is because it's an antique. I got this off of Marketplace on Facebook, and it actually came with a side table that's on the other side of my bed that you might have seen in the intro. And then all of this here is my makeup, and I have like a candle here. But I really like this vanity because it has a lot of space, not only on top, but in the drawers. And again, the Art Deco style is just so unique and I just, I really like having those pieces in my room. I don't want my room to look like everybody else's room. I want it to look different. And as you can tell, I really like antiques. I'm a big fan of the Art Deco style. My closet is a little bit more of like a modern take on Art Deco, I would say. But my bedroom is just about everything. It's like antique in here. The lingerie chest that you saw in the previous clip, that's antique. Um, the only thing that's really not antique is my, my nightstand, my tall dresser, and then my long dresser over there, and just the mirror. Like, but most of the stuff is just antique or secondhand. Okay, so this is my entertainment center, and I got this piece off of Facebook Marketplace. So again, it's secondhand. You know, my TV, my remotes here. I have all of my CDs because I'm a CD person. I really like CDs. I have this clock that I got from Marshalls, and then a picture of my boyfriend and I the shelf below it i have all of my movies in my stereo i'm a big film buff so i have a lot of horror movies and i just have all of my movies organized by genre and then i have my manicure and pedicure stuff a picture of my baby axel rose and then i have my disney merch or like my souvenirs which is the tower of terror glass the great movie ride glass too it's like a double-sided tower of terror plates and the bell and then on the bottom shelf i have two ceramic turtles one that i made and one that my boyfriend made my polaroid camera a cute little hat box that i got from the christmas section at target i have a art deco themed phone it's for the movie metropolis and i got that at an estate sale all the way over here to the right i have again a picture of my baby axel rose the shelf just above the tv I have a picture of my boyfriend and I that we got when I was doing my graduation photos or my senior portraits. I have like this antique dish that I got, antiquing obviously, filled with my Lush stuff. And a picture of my boyfriend for his senior pictures. On the very top shelf I have a little license plate that actually has my name on it and it's for Evil Knievel but everybody thought it was kind of funny because it said Evil and it had my name on it and I can't ever find anything with my name on it so I got that. And it's up, sitting up against a, again, like one of those boxes from the Target Christmas section. Another antique. I don't know if it's like a decanter or what it is, but I got that at an estate sale. And up here I have a, like, antique, I don't, it's not a dish, but it's just like a brass um, circular thing that I put around my candles. It doesn't have a bottom to it, so I don't really know what it is. I think it's supposed to be for candles. In the center you guessed it another antique gold mirror tray now this has all um antique bottles on it i think the two bottles in the front might have been from hobby lobby i'm not quite sure but i know that the three in the back definitely came from a estate sale or yard sale then i have a stack of books over here the bottom one is palo alto it's by james franco i have fear and loathing in las vegas lolita the great gatsby so those are all my brother's books well the the last three were my brother's books and i just keep them in here there's some great works of literature and sitting on top of that is another antique dish that i got it's super cute. It's like a frosted pink glass. And I really like that. It's so different as a woman sitting on top of it. But I put all of like my stud earrings in here. I, again, like to keep everything in like really different dishes. And then on the front, you can see this is like a marble um, type carved, hand carved dish. Or not dish, but like a little box. And that is from my uncle. He got it from a local artist in San Francisco. And it's just super super beautiful and nice and I absolutely love it. It's just very sentimental. But this 
is the entryway. As you can see, again, you can tell that I really like music. I have a Hotel California record that is one of my favorite songs. That just love it so much. It's a laser cut record. I have just a plain record on the wall for decoration. I really liked the artwork on that. I have an album or a record or whatever you want to call it in a frame. I have my Guns N' Roses poster up top and then I have all right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment below and tell me what your favorite part of this room tour was. What was your favorite piece in my room? Down below in the description box, I have my Poshmark and my Instagram link, so go check that out. It's a fun time over my Instagram. I post lots of stuff on there, and you guys see me a lot more than you do over here. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will hopefully see you guys soon because I have a lot of videos filmed this time.